Every week we hear the drum beat, AI is changing your life, the world, you are going to lose your job. It's like a record on repeat. I mean, just look at the amazing AI tool WiseCut, an online automatic video editor that turbocharges your editing workflow. Huh, looks like we don't need an editor anymore. Hey, Timo, you're fired! <laughs> now, what if I told you that our VFX jobs could also become a piece of cake? So easy that I could take on the workload of 10 people in just a few hours. Sounds bonkers, right? Well, it's rapidly becoming a reality. So let's dive into the AI that is about to revolutionize your VFX world. Enter Wonder Studio. Now you can feed this AI tool your own footage and it will automatically generate motion capture data. But to make it even more crazy, it will also automatically link a 3D character to that tracking data and compose it completely in your footage, meaning it will generate a clean plate due to lighting and whatnot. I mean... <laughs> Hey, that's actually what Janik does around here. Hey, Janik, clean up your desk and get out of here. Now, let's familiarize ourselves with Wonder Studio. As of now, it's in closed beta. You can sign up and hopefully get an invite. But if you have some patience, you can keep your eyes peeled open because it's about to swing wide open for everyone soon, I think. I actually have no idea when it comes out. <laughs> Now, whether it'll be a free ride or cost a pretty penny, I can't tell. However, one thing is certain, this AI tool is one you just can't afford to overlook. So what is the magic formula to use Wonder Studio? Well, simply film something, that's it. Feed your footage into the Wonder Studio AI and watch as the magic unfolds. It can scan your image and voila, it recognizes your subjects. Now, all we have to do is cherry pick our subjects and assign them a cool character. And we have a list to choose from, at the moment it's quite limited but I hope it will expand in the future. For our first hands-on, let's play it cool with a simple droid. Moving forward, Wonder Studio will greet us with a pop-up window, offering us a bunch of customization options. Now, naturally, we'll crank up the resolution to 4K, keep the format at MP4, and for the export individual elements, we'll go all out and enable everything we can. This will give us the most control later on when everything is processed. Now, as you can notice, the ProRes function, camera tracking, and camera pass are yet to come on board, but I'm itching with anticipation to see these options become available. Definitely how their camera tracking will function and if we can integrate it with other software. For now though, let's kickstart the processing and there you have it, we're done. All what's left to do now is, is wait and wait and probably wait some more. Yeah, it can take up a couple of hours. Now, I don't actually need to go out and shoot my own footage. Why would I when I've got Storyblock to sponsor up today's video? So, Lorenzo, you're fired as well. Now, with Storyblock's huge library boasting over a million high-quality royalty-free stock assets, I can use anything imaginable in my video edits. Let's say I want to create a Jedi droid with a lightsaber. All I need to do is download a clip of someone swinging a sword from Storyblocks, then pass it through Wonder Studios, sprinkle some lightsaber effects on it, and bam. George Lucas, consider yourself fired as well. Now here's the kicker. Storyblocks is practically an AI tool on its own. With your sprinkling new plugin for Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro, you'll have the entire library right at your fingertips while you're busy with your VFX or editing. And the icing on the cake, unlimited downloads, all in HD or 4K resolution. Simply punch in whatever you're looking for and bingo. No more flipping between browser and software or hunting for where you stash those clips. Your workflow will be as smooth as butter and there's a little something I'm absolutely proud about. I've got my very own landing page. It's bursting at the seams with authentic Cinecom footage from travel videos to car crashes, muzzle flashes and other jaw-dropping assets, all ripe for picking. Now most of them are shot and lock, giving you full control when it comes down to color grading. Now many stock websites will have you selling an arm or a leg per clip. Not with Storyblocks, they offer an unlimited library for a fixed price either monthly or annually. No sneaking hidden charges ever. Now, I've been a Storyblocks user for many years and I can't recommend it enough to creatives everywhere. So take back your creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty-free stock library and tools today by going to storyblocks.com forward slash Cinecom or just simply click the first link in the description down below. Now, let's check in on our first Wonder Studio experiment and see how it's coming along. Well, feast your eyes on this. Our 
our first VFX shot crafted with Wonder Studio, and it looks amazing. But let's be honest, it's not flawless. I mean, for instance, the motion capture for the hands seems a bit tricky. And from our vigorous testing, we've noticed that the AI cleverly uses the background as an HDRI, which is a technique used to create the reflections and the lighting on the 3D model. And while this works like a charm most of the time, there can be instances where it results in less than stellar lighting. Just like the clean plate, Wonder Studio nails it quite well, but to achieve that perfect pristine end result, we'll need a few tweaks here and there. But here's where Wonder Studio's real magic comes in. It allows you to dive into all the individual settings, the clean plate, alpha masks, motion capture data, opening up a universe of compositing possibilities. And guess what? You can even download the entire Blender scene. This means that you can polish the animations and lighting to your heart's contents, placing you back in the driver's seat with complete control over everything, even the 3D models. Now, speaking of 3D models, we can actually use our own. In Wonder Studio, navigate to the assets menu on the left. Here you'll find all the footage that we've already uploaded, but the party is just getting started. We can add new stuff to the mix, like our own 3D characters. And as you all know, we're currently swamped in the post-production of our epic space short film. But luckily, we still have wise cuts to help us out, generating audio subtitles for us, automatic audio ducking, and even turning our long-form video content into short impact clips so we can keep you guys updated on social media. By the way, if you want to learn more about wise cuts, link in the description down below. But now, let's not deviate from that space team and just use the astronaut model that we are currently working with for the short film. And every hero needs a name, right? So say hello to Johnson, the astronaut. But hold your horses, we can't hit create just yet. It's time to pull up the character creation guidelines. Unfortunately, we can't just upload any old thing. Our model needs a bit of prep. Now, there are quite a few steps to follow, and my experience with 3D is admittedly a bit thin on the grounds. So, uh, uh Jenic, Lorenzo, anyone here? I could use a little bit of help. All right, no, you know what? I can do this. A few moments later. Eureka, I've cracked the code. And guess what? It's simpler than you think. Almost like a walk in the park. First, we need a Blender or FBX file of our model, and it must be rigged. We just need to place the character in the collection named character. And the character's main armature needs to have a body tag in its name. For example, astronaut underscore body. Now, here's a trick. All the bones of the rig need to bear the correct names. I simply mirror to the names from the example files available from the Wonder Studio website. Essentially, you're just mirroring your project to theirs, using the same names, hierarchy, and so forth. It's a breeze to prepare your model this way. Textures too, follow the same rule of thumb, just follow their naming rules and adjust everything accordingly. And last but not least, make sure that the model sits in a T-pose. That's very important. All right, phew, those were uh, quite a few steps to prepare our model, right? But hey, don't sweat it. I've had a chat with the wizards over at Wonder Studio. They are in the lab right now, and they told me that they're working on a far simpler, more streamlined upload process, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Exciting stuff, but in the meantime, I'll drop a link to the complete prep guidelines in the description down below for if you would get access to the closed beta. And there you have it, your model is primed and ready for action. We're all set to hit the create button. In the subsequent pop-up, I upload all the files that I adjusted, textures and model, and then we just validate them. If there's still something wrong with your model, you'll get a pop-up outlining the solution. But if you've played by the book, congratulations, you've just uploaded your own 3D model to Wonder Studio. Just look at our astronaut doing whatever we want. I mean, almost. The, the backpack kind of seems to be a problem. And now that you're equipped with all of this knowledge, I'm, I'm pretty useless. You, you've got the power to create anything under the sun now, which means I'm, I'm out of a job. All right, Cinecom is finished, guys. Gotta pack my stuff as well. See ya. Wait, wait, hold on. No AI can vanish us. We will seize all the AI tools and harnish them to become even better. If you want to learn more about using different AI tools to become a better filmmaker, well, then definitely check out the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.